Hi loves, welcome to the channel, Tessie here, and you lot know on this channel we discuss so many things, viral topics and lifestyle battle comes for black women and women in general in dating, relationships and more, so grab yourself a glass of something nice and we're going to get into it, it's going to be very interesting, it's going to be very fun, so grab yourself a glass of something nice, it could be a little bit of kayla, it could be some wine, it could be some hot chocolate, coffee, whatever, come sit down with me and we're going to dive into it. We are going to be discussing several Reddit posts. This video is going to be absolutely hilarious, but it's going to be also very educational for black women who are currently looking to date or who are currently on online dating and women of other skin tones, white, Asian, whoever you are, who are also dating online on dating apps. So this is just going to be one for the ladies. And it's going to be interesting because we're going to be looking at some Reddit dating horror stories. <laughs> Literally, some of these, some of these Reddit posts, people are suffering. People are suffering in dating. Now, wow, people don't suffer. Anyway, we are going to be looking at some of the posts in the dating sub on Reddit. And we're going to be analyzing them, seeing what ladies are going through. And then we're going to be discussing what ladies can do to make their dating and relationship experiences on dating apps better. Especially for those of you who are still dating on dating apps in 2024. Believe me, I know I met Greg on a dating app. I've been on dating apps for, you know, I've been in and out of dating apps for a while. I'm, I had all my previous relationships on dating apps. So I have a lot of experience with dating apps. I crawled so that you could walk. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get into it. It's going to be fun. So don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash that like button and sit down because it's going to be. Okay, so we are taking a look at the first post and this is a post in the dating subreddit. And it says here, there's so much to get into. Lord have mercy. There is literally so much to get into. It says here, ghosted off the first time having S. I... 22, oh wow, she's very young, was dating, well, she's not very young, she's just a couple of years younger than me, but yeah, the difference between 22 and 28, just in terms of, you know, your reasoning and intelligence is absolutely massive, so let's get into it. I, 22, was dating a guy, 26, oh, he's quite young, for about three months, we saw each other quite a lot, but also not too much, <laughs> I love that, I love that. I had met his friend group, he met my best friend. I even went out with the girlfriend of his best friend. We get along very well. We vibed from the start. We even had unflattering pictures of each other on our phones. In this time frame, I had gotten my new puppy, which we both had a lot of cute moments with. Now I had some crazy bad experiences with men, so I was very wary of his actions. He didn't pressure me into sex and his behavior towards me was very sweet. The last time I saw him was when I slept over at his place for the first time. I, at that point, trusted him enough to sleep with him. We watched a show together, which we always watch. Sorry, which we always said we were going to watch. Walked the puppy. The next morning, I went to get him breakfast with the girlfriend of his best friend. After I went home, I texted him. When are we going to see each other again? He has never even read the message. Just want to hear some positive words that I'm not alone. Maybe others with similar experiences. So this girl then goes on to say that this guy has ghosted her for three weeks after they had intimacy. Now, there's a couple of things I want to highlight here for the, you ladies, especially black women who are dating. This girl hasn't specified her, her skin color, her race or whatever, but especially for black women who are dating on online dating, um, you know, dating apps, maybe you're on Tinder, Hinge or whatever. There's a couple of really important things I want to highlight here. Right. We're going to go and read the comments, but there's a couple of things I want to highlight here. Some people, some people initially said, right, that what she needed to do was confirm that he was still alive, that he might have like died. But it's very unlikely. The first mistake she has made is that, first of all, I have said this in so many of my videos. Some of you ladies won't know that I have a lot of videos, especially the new subscribers. I have a lot of videos on how to date online, how to conduct yourself accordingly. Um, my previous ex-partner, he actually asked me to marry him as well, but I met him in uh, my master's course. But with my husband-to-be, Greg, when I first met him, right, there were a couple of things I noticed, and I really want ladies to understand there are certain ways you must move when you are dating online because 
online dating is a whole new way of interacting with people. It's not a traditional way per se of interacting with people. And what a lot of women make the mistake of thinking is they make the mistake of thinking that, oh my gosh, if you wait months to sleep with a guy, and if you wait months and months and months to sleep with a guy, especially if you're dating online, that that automatically means he's just going to stick around after he's, you know, spent the night with you. That's not how it works. I really need ladies to understand, right, that it isn't the time spent with the guy and the time spent talking to a guy isn't an indicator of how much he likes you. That's very, very important. So the guy should be talking to you every day, but you can spend months talking to a guy and he will wait until you trust him to be with him intimately. And then he would disappear if that was what he was looking for. I really need you to understand, right? That If a guy really likes you and and respects you, even if you spend the night with him early on the second date, the third date, the fourth date, the fifth date, it's not going to stop him from pursuing a relationship with you or wanting to be with you, right? Me and Greg, well, should I say Greg and I, we met each other and within two weeks we were off the app and we were completely off and we were official and we wanted to be in a he had told me listen I want to be your boyfriend I want to be in a relationship with you I need women to understand I've told women this 750 times I've told like, I've told women 750 okay I'm being dramatic but I've told you 750 times right you cannot try to build a relationship with a man that hasn't gotten off the dating app so you are only wasting your time talking for months with a man that you haven't persuaded or who hasn't been persuaded by spending time with you to get off a dating app. If a man has spent multiple weeks with you and is still on the dating app, you are not in a relationship. There is no relationship moving forward with that guy. That guy, he knows already he's not looking for anything decent with you. It doesn't matter if you wait him, make him wait three or four months to sleep with you. He is still on the app. I really need, I need women to understand this. I really need, eh, is this, eh, G, mm-mm. I need women to understand, okay? It's not about how long you make the guy wait. It's about whether the guy has developed respect for you with the time that he has spent with you. Has he developed respect for you? Because respect, first of all, if he really respects you, he shouldn't be on that dating app. She revealed, right, that not only did he wait three weeks, but he is still on the app. It says here, someone said you should confirm if he's still alive. She said he is. I've seen him active on the dating platform we met. So he's still on the dating platform. He's ghosted it for three weeks and he's still, why was she, why was she talking to this guy for three months and this guy was still on the dating platform? I've told ladies this in, in my previous videos, right? If you are building, trying to talk to a guy on a dating app, this man, the moment he meets you, one or two dates, he should be off the app. And he should be the one to get off the app. And you should be the one to really confirm that he's off the app. Because otherwise, anything else is just a waste of time if you're dating online. I really need ladies to understand. Start treating your time like gold dust. You need to start treating your time like gold dust. Now, this girl is very young. She's 22. So I understand why she made this mistake. But Omo, there are ladies in their 30s, 40s, or 50s making this this mistake. Let me not see you making this mistake. (laughs) Seriously, I don't want to see this mistake anymore. And then someone goes here, oh, that's terrible. No wonder us ladies have anxiety. Three weeks is a long time to reach out to you, to not reach out to you. First of all, he was still on the dating app, so I'm not surprised. He hasn't reached out to you for three weeks. He's been seeing and sleeping with other people. And then she says here, maybe something happened to him. Some men just cannot help themselves, but be unreliable. I've got to say, it seems like you're super strong handling this, this too shall pass. Now, I'm not, I don't want to be too harsh on this girl at all. She's very young. This guy is obviously a horrific scumbag. This guy is a scumbag. A lot of men are, right? But this guy in particular is a scumbag. But his scumbag behavior is not unsurprising, especially considering his age and the age bracket that we're dealing with. Um, and then someone else has says, 
the craziness of is of this is that he was fine to introduce you to his friends and meet your best friend, but don't have the balls to say why he doesn't want another date with you after S. I've oh, I've always wondered why people do this, overshare and get really personal, then ghost you. What is even the point? Because you've made him wait for three months and he's had to invest that time, but that doesn't necessarily mean he likes or respects you. He's seeing it as he's waiting until eventually you let your guard down and give him what he wants and then goes the time that he spent with you he hasn't actually developed respect for you unfortunately in that time and listen these men these guys are trash right but my role here isn't to scream at how trashy these guys are there's something wrong with them and us pointing out there's something wrong with them isn't actually going to change what's wrong with them they are the only ones that can change my role here is to tell you how to avoid being in this situation and hurting yourself and putting stress, misery, and pressure on yourself. Because I'm sure this girl has been crying tears of blood, Joseph, Jesus, and Zachariah over this guy. Okay? And I do not want my ladies, especially black ladies, Asian ladies, who are, I do not want you to be crying over guys who put you through situations like this. I want you to avoid being in situations like this, full stop. Right? And then it goes, she goes on to say, totally agree. My best friend was shocked too. She said she had a good feeling with him. What bothered me a lot was when he pointed out how great I get along with his friends, especially after his last ex was hated amongst his friend group. I guess some men don't just just don't care. Um, he said, ah, please never believe the things people tell you about their exes, especially she was crazy. That's very true. And listen, did she not clock how he mentioned ex? This guy did not define the relationship with you at all. I really need ladies to understand a man that really likes you. He will not hesitate to define the relationship. He will not wait three months just to, for you to get into a situation where he can just use you. He will define the relationship very fast. He will not let you go, right? Because he's seen the value in you. I really need ladies to understand. You do not have to beg a guy or, you know, wait for him to see the value in you. It's either he sees the value in you or he doesn't. Waiting three months, waiting three years or whatever is not going to determine whether he sees the value in you it's either he does or he doesn't that's it women women a lot of young women oh my god they make terrible mistakes terrible mistakes especially when young starting off young right and in early 20s it's okay but sometimes you could end up making mistakes that will follow you into your 30s 40s and 50s you're not careful okay so now she mentions that she's been she slept with a guy that's been on a dating app for three months so now you need to go and get yourself tested because that guy has probably been sleeping and seeing with other people for three months as well. You don't know because he was still on the app. So you now need to go and get yourself tested because she doesn't mention if she used protection or not. Oh, my women perish for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Okay, so what I really need ladies to understand is number one, if you're dating online with a guy and he hasn't deleted the app in front of you, after a few weeks of dating you, he's not interested. There is no relationship. There is no hope. Move on. This is just a huge exercise in wasting time. Number two, a man needs to respect your words. Not so much the amount of time he spends with you. Yes, he should spend a lot of time with you, but he needs to learn to respect you within the time that he spends with you. Otherwise, you are wasting your time. Number three, he needs to, you need to have boundaries and standards and your word must have worth when you say something you must stick to it no matter how painful or no matter how much no matter how much it hurts once you've come to a decision and you make that decision in order for a man to really respect you you must stand on it it's very very important otherwise your word has nothing you have your word has no worth and it will be easy for people to walk all over you and when you say things people will even laugh at you because they know that you're not someone to be taken seriously Right. You if you want to deal with men without running mad, developing mental illness, especially on dating apps, whether you're a black woman, Asian woman, especially with black women when you're dating online. If you do not want to run mad. Yeah. When you're dealing with men, you must stick to what you say. You must have a strong character. <laughs> you must have your you must be strong in your thoughts and decisions. Right. And you must not some, be someone that's easily swayed. This is something that really has men shaking. Right. This gets them shaking. They will move heaven and earth for you if you if you learn how to do this, because the way Greg, Greg moves heaven and earth for me, he does not joke with me at all, because when I say something, I mean it. And he knows 
I mean it. And he knows I mean it. It's, it's very important, ladies. It is very important. Your word must have worth as a woman. Okay? Your, worth, your word must have worth. Too many women are very lenient and they're very... They don't have any boundaries. They cave so easily because of the love or the affection or the, you know, intimacy that you've experienced with a guy. That doesn't matter. You should still always have certain things that you will never tolerate. And then the final one that we are going to look into is the man should always define the relationships because at this point, in my opinion, she's just been a, in a three month situation. She's been in a talking phase which has developed into a situation ship and then she got ghosted after three months when she finally actually was intimate with this guy the man should always define a relationship she also made the mistake of trying to message him afterwards if a guy is really interested he will message you you see what i need women to understand is when you pursue men you will not get a man that will match your energy first of all you should not be pursuing because that is only for male-centered ladies that that really put men in as the, the pinnacle of everything. When you allow a guy to really show you that he's interested in you, that he respects your time, he will match your energy. That's also very important, okay? So that's the final takeaway for this section. I feel so sorry for this girl. The guy is a horrific scumbag, but there are many scumbags out there like this looking to prey on young women. Young women who brain, whose brains have not developed who don't understand how to deal when it comes to dating and i really need you to be vigilant and understand as well another one that just because you you know keep a guy waiting for three four or five months doesn't mean that he's not going to leave after he gets what he wants if he hasn't developed respect for you in even just two or three weeks of meeting you then he can happily wait three or four months just to sleep with you it doesn't mean he's going to stick around or that he respects or loves you okay it's about the respect developed in the amount of time, not the amount of time itself. Okay, so one of the things I will say that gives me a very unique perspective on dating apps and makes me a little bit of an expert, I would say, is number one. Not only did I meet my husband to be Greg on a dating app, I met majority of my relationships on a dating app. My ex before my current ex, I met him on a dating app. I was with him for two years. And in my first ever relationship, I met on a dating app and I was with him between the ages of 18 to 21. And I learned to become very brutal with dating from the ages of like 22. And what gives me a unique perspective is because I started dating on dating apps from age 18 and have been on dating apps on and off for the past decade. So I have experience dealing with dating apps and I have seen how they have changed throughout time. I've actually seen how people have changed on them. I've seen how the apps themselves have changed, right? And I am I'm, I'm very understanding when it comes to why women are making these mistakes, especially women in their 30s, 40s, 50s. Some of you are getting on the apps for the very first time. When you are now mature women, you haven't had the experience of being on a dating app when you were young or been on a dating app 10 years ago. So you don't have that unique perspective. So one thing I would say is that I have a very strange and weird combination of not only being on dating apps when I was young, but being on them for a while, having majority of my relationships from them and seeing them change. And one of the things I would say, right, because as you guys know, me and Greg are getting married, we're very excited one of the things I will say that I've noticed about dating apps and I've noticed about women dating in, in general is that there is no specifically amazing right time to be intimate with someone. I wouldn't say that you should, I would not highly recommend that you do, you know, spend that time the first day being intimate with someone, but you don't necessarily have to wait three months. You don't necessarily have to wait five months. It really just depends, right? Right. Um, you know, and listen, when a man has deep respect for you, sex, intimacy, whatever, it will not drive him away. I really need women to understand it will only bond him closer to you if he has a deep respect for you. Right. But women don't actually know when a man has developed respect for them. They don't even recognize when a man does really sh shitty things. They don't even know that the, some of the things he does is, is shitty. They can't even recognize when something is bad, when the man does something bad. You know, so one thing I will say is 
definitely I would not encourage the first date, right? But many women wait three months and the guy still leaves once he's gotten once he wants, right? Some will, you know, think that S after marriage is okay and then they get with the person and realize they're not compatible in the bedroom and then divorce, right? The main thing is making sure the man respects you when you are ready and understanding yourself when you are ready for that next step. That's very important. That's very, 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 very important. Listen, I need women to understand, right? If a man really values you, there is nothing he will not do. Greg told me he wanted to marry me after eight months. He flew his mom down to meet me after 10 months. He proposed after a year and four months. We have got a brand new two bedroom apartment that we are moving into next month i'm going to be vlogging the whole moving process and we are going to be living in this gorgeous two-bedroom apartment it is beautiful there's going to be a fireplace there's going to be a breakfast bar everything is going to be crazy and greg has already said that when we are in this two-bedroom apartment he's going to invest that money effort and time into looking for a house we're going to be looking for an actual forever home so that apartment is just a place that we're going to be staying while we're looking for a forever home i need ladies to understand right when a man really values you, he will show it. And you will not need to be waiting three months in a talking phase with him. And he will not need to, he will not be dragging you along and giving you all those sweet words. Meanwhile, there's no actual action being done. And he will not leave you in a situation phase just so that he could get into your body. He will define it with his mouth and actions. I need ladies to understand this. It's very, very, very important, especially when you're dating online, because I see too many women going, oh, online dating is hell, especially for black women who, you know, with the dating app statistics, things like OkCupid, that horrible, wretched OkCupid study that said that black women are the least desired on dating apps. Especially with black women on dating apps, it is very important that you understand how to move on the dating app. So that you don't get yourself in situations that make you miserable, sick, you know, unhappy or worse. The chandeliers. Wait, are these from Dubai? That's nice. That is nice. Woo. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's a fireplace. Close and open. Close and open. It's very important that ladies learn to honor their boundaries, right? Um, because many ladies don't honor their boundaries. They cave into the standards that, and things that they know they initially they didn't want. That's very important. You know, um, I try my best to share relevant parts about Greg and I, but I keep a lot private, right? Um, I think it's important that black women understand that we can be have happy, healthy relationships. I'm really lucky. I have a most fabulous relationship with Greg. But even my previous relationship with my ex was wonderful. I only turned down his proposal of marriage because I didn't want to move to Australia. So we had completely different life goals. Right. Um, and, you know, with a lot of black women, they find themselves mocked, abused by people online, especially by black men. And I need black women to see, right, that... Love and dating online doesn't always have to be a struggle. Even if you're an Asian woman as well, you need to also understand that love and dating on dating apps is not always going to be a struggle. You can eventually find someone who loves, cherishes and adores you, right? But you have to be very, very particular with the way you move, especially on a dating app. Intimacy with a man will not drive a man away who loves and respects you. A lot of men are useless. So you will need to understand that you must be firm, Right? Right? I really need you to understand that. Mm? My ladies, my ladies, hey, my women, my women, my women. Listen, intimacy with men who does not, who do not respect you will reveal a superficial interest in time. I really need you to understand that. Listen to, did you, did you, did you, did you hear what I said? <laughs> intimacy with a man who does not respect you will reveal a superficial interest on the man's part in time it doesn't matter if it takes three weeks three months okay so let's move on to the next reddit pose uh, Ching, are you ready okay okay let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it and don't forget to like and subscribe if you've just joined the video if you've just joined 
Come and join, come and sit down, have a cheesecake, have something. Come and sit down and get ready for the next story because it's also going to be good. So now we're moving on to the second story. Um, before we get into the second Reddit post, I did want to also mention that I will be vlogging the moving day. So like when we actually move into the um, two bedroom apartment. So don't forget to turn on the channel notifications for that. And I do also have a video where I talk about my first ever relationship when I was 18 that I experienced on the dating app, all the mistakes I made and all of the things I learned. So you can go and watch that so you can learn so you don't make the mistakes that I made. Mm -hmm. I crawl so that you could walk. Isn't it lovely? Okay. Okay. And okay. Let us move to the next story. And this one. Very, 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 very interesting. So let's get into it. It says here, how can I prevent men from removing condoms without my consent? Wow. 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 There's so many levels of wow that I am completely wowed by this post. Wow. Women are so suffering. Jesus. Women are suffering on the dating apps. Okay, let's listen. I've been dating for several years, typically connecting with professionals who, like me, have busy careers, doctors, lawyers. <sighs> I'm based in Los Angeles. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I was a bit too much. I'm based in Los Angeles and I've encountered a disturbing pattern in my dating life. Despite clear discussions about condom use being a must, I've had multiple partners remove the condom during S without my consent. It's deeply upsetting and feels like a violation of trust. I've tried everything to prevent this. I've mentioned that I'm not on birth control. I am. That I haven't been tested recently. I'm clean. And I've made it clear that condoms are essential. Still, several men have started with a condom to remove it midway without me noticing. Leaving me in shock when I realised what's happened. The most recent incident was particularly distressing. He removed the condom without me realising and finished before I could even react. We had a direct conversation about the importance of using condoms so i felt completely violated and violated when he ignored that agreement the re the re i'm really struggling with this and i'm sure how to keep dating while protecting myself from this kind of behavior i'm not looking for judgment just practical advice on how to avoid these situations in the future okay <laughs> wow women are suffering so first of all this is all essay so trigger warning if you've experienced this or you've been through this before i'm so sorry I'm so sorry that you've experienced that as a woman. Or if you're a man and you've experienced that, I'm really sorry. Right? But this is all SA. This is a crime. This is a... This is SA. This is grape, in my opinion. But I've identified several things that she could do to avoid this from happening. There seems to be a certain personality trait that she's... That, that is present in a lot of the guys that she's picking. Now, with doctors, lawyers, obviously, those are quite high positioned um you know jobs in society and sometimes with, with those kind of men there's certain personality traits present you know and there can be a lot of ego arrogance and tendency to push boundaries because in those type of professions men ha men especially if you're dealing with men they have to be sometimes they have to go against the grain or sometimes they have to do things and they have to be a little bit arrogant and be a little bit, you know, not have that fear. And I think sometimes it translates into relationships with women. So you also have to be mindful when you're dating certain professionals as well with men, men whose careers rely on arrogance and severe self-belief. Like, don't get me wrong, self-belief is good, but sometimes it can border into arrogance, especially when you're hurting other people that you are intimate with then it moves into arrogance. And one thing I will say is that she's made a mistake. Now, these men are awful, awful, awful men. Worse, the wretches of the wretches, the wretches of the world, the wretches of the world. These are awful, shitty men, right? But one, one thing I will say as a woman is she's been telling them that she's not on birth control, which is a major, major no, right? You are letting them know that you are someone that they can trap and this is essentially what they're trying to do. They're trying to trap you. They're trying to trap you with either a baby or they're trying to put you in a position where 
they can pass on whatever STD they might secretly have. They are trying to trap you in this situation, right? And you have been letting them know that you are ripe for them to use and trap. You, as a woman, you protect your body and your womb, right? And you do not tell men that you are on in intimate with that you are not on birth control. Even if you are not, let them believe. But most of all, right? It's it's in my opinion. It's my in my opinion. A woman who is not trying to have a baby, and is not in a relationship with a man that she wants to marry, who has proven that he's going to be a good father, you should probably be on birth control. Because if you aren't on birth control, you are, you are preparing for a baby. Because what will happen is, if you aren't on birth control, you can get pregnant. It's as simple as that. Now, obviously, there's serious essay going on here. But I really want us to understand that as women, you need to protect yourself and be very careful what you say with men. Um, and this is why I said, as ladies, when you're dealing with men on the dating app, you have to move accordingly. Otherwise, men will mess you up violently, right? And don't get me wrong, it, it is not her fault that these men are evil, right? But she, there is a way that you can protect yourself to avoid such things happening to you because it's been happening to her continuously. So this is a very serious issue. Now she says, um, you know, he did that without realizing. Okay. So first of all, I would say that this lady needs to stop dating. She needs to stop dating. She needs to protect herself, you know, possibly be using birth control instantly, immediately. And she needs to take a break and recognize the personality traits that she has been coming into contact with on a regular basis. Because these all, all these men, if you break them down, you'll recognize that there are common personality traits among them, especially because she dates amongst the same type of professions. So she might be coming in contact with the same type of guy. I need ladies to understand that men will use what you say to harm you. It's very, very important. Eh, Shabby, you understanding me? Okay, okay, let's move on and see some of the comments that sh that have responded to this post. Okay, so here are some of the answers for this post. And yeah, some of them actually I, I, I definitely do agree with. So where it says, you report them to the police and you make it clear that if they stealth, that that is what you'll be doing as it is rape. Then someone else says, record it for proof, unload it, unload to cloud, upload to cloud as it films for extra safety. You can delete afterwards. And then someone else says, yep, I'm pretty sure that that's its own legal violation in many states. Yes. And then someone else confirms, yes, I'm pretty sure that is illegal what they are doing. So, um, yeah, you have to be careful with that whole recording thing as well. Um, you just have to be very careful with that. The whole, really the whole thing is as a, as a woman, when you're dating online is try not to, it's not to get into this situation in the first place. And that means identifying certain things that will be unsavory about a man before ever allowing him into your space in the first place is very important. These men, these type of men will not change unless they are forced to or divine intervention intervenes in their soul. <laughs> Literally, that is the only way. Then someone else at the bottom says, um, first off, I'm deeply sorry. This is SA or come to think of it. Perhaps during the condom talk, mention that you, how you've had a previous lover who took condom off mid intimacy and how you are currently embroiled in a case with them. Ask them to not take the condom off because you are a busy professional and this one trial is taking up a fair amount of time and two trials would be even more complicated. Honestly, I think that is, a lot of effort that is a lot of that is even a lot I wouldn't even do that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even come I, if I was a lady first of all I need to stop you you need to stop dating and sometimes I found that you know just reevaluating how you've been moving is very very helpful yes definitely the fear of such a thing might scare a guy into not 
removing the condom but at the same time sometimes it might just even embolden the guy to want to do something even more harmful to you you never really know i really need women to understand that there are many men walking around completely mentally ill extremely mentally ill and many of these men need to be medicated or need to be on some sort of therapy plan but they are not you see a man walking in the street you think he's normal but you don't know the turmoil the turmoil his head is like the Red Sea. His head is like the Red Sea. And there is absolutely no type of, you know, logic or common sense or empathy going on in his brain. Like, I really need ladies to understand that you see some men walking around, you think they're normal and they are not normal. They are nonsense, psychotic, mad crazy just looking for the next person to harm and, and hurt i really need ladies to understand that so you have to be very careful there are some very nice decent guys out there right but most women will have more negative positive experiences in dating than positive that is just the unfortunate reality so if i was this lady i would just you just need to stop just take a break from dating right and i really want women as well to understand when it comes to dating apps especially black women you know, black women, Asian women, women of color, women in the BAME community, right? But this also happens to white women as well, biracial women, whoever. I needed to understand that when you go on dating apps, you can't be staying on dating apps for months and 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 months because you're just going to jam the same kind of person. I've mentioned this previously. Women stay on dating apps for years at a time and you jam the same type of person continuously, right? Sometimes what will happen is the woman will stay on the dating app, they'll get off the app and come back on in two weeks and you still jam the same type of idiotic man. You think that the, the people on the app have changed since you left two weeks ago? Of course not. There are the same type of people. If you get off an app, you need to be off for years. When I was dating on a dating app, I had years break in between each time I went on the app. I had five relationships, five long-term relationships, right? Three of those I met on the app. And each time I went on the app and I got a relationship, I would be off that app for two years. And after that relationship ended, I would take a year before I would go back on the app again right? I would have at least two to three years break between each use of an app because apps go through cyclical changes. And it's very important for you to understand that if you stay on an app for years as a woman, you are going to meet the same type of man over and over again. The longer you are on an app, the less likely you are to meet somebody of value and worth to be in a long-term, proper, loving, healthy relationship with, right? Because the people who are on the app for years as well, you're jamming them as well. You're meeting the same type of people. Every time I went on an app, I was off within two to three weeks. And I need women to understand this because I see women, especially black men, spending years on an app, wasting their life away. The longer you are on an app, the less likely you are to meet somebody decent. When you meet someone decent and when a dating app works properly, you will be on the app for a very minimum amount of time. It's not the amount of time you're on the app. It's how you use the time that you spend on the app. This lady has been jamming the same type of guy on this app consistently. Some of these men, right, she's probably been meeting them in, in public, working in, in, as she's mentioned, in these professions. But these men who are, you are meeting in real life, they are also on the app. I need ladies to understand that the men that you're meeting in real life, they're also the same men on the app. And some of these men, she could have also been meeting them on the app because after all, this is the dating subreddit. So that means that a lot of the people on here will be talking about online dating, right? Please, I want my ladies to avoid suffering. I want my ladies to avoid suffering. Mm, it actually pains me when I see women enter these horrible situations like this. Mm, it pains me. It actually pains me. Listen, listen, this, this, this particular Reddit is just too painful. I don't even want to keep going into it because it's very, very painful. But I need ladies to be careful what they say when it comes to men. Be careful what you reveal about yourself. Be very careful with the type of guys you date. Make sure that you're not dating the same type of guys with the same specific patterns. And take a break from dating apps. Don't meet the same type of people on dating apps again to just get hurt in the same way. 
okay? I really need us ladies to come smarter and protect ourselves from these hooligans. From these, hmm, these, hmm, <laughs> like, uh, I don't even have words. <laughs> I don't even have words for this level of nonsense. It's too much. It's too sad. So we're going to move on to the next story, which I think might be the last story that we're going to discuss today. The last Reddit story that we're going to discuss today. The last horror dating story we're going to discuss today. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's move in well, on to the last story for today. Okay, so before we get into the final Reddit horror dating story, right? I really want to reiterate something to black women, especially because I always tell black women on my channel to expand their options, date out, um, date the best guy for you. It doesn't matter if he's black, white, Asian, biracial, whatever, you know, mixed it doesn't matter it's about the character not the skin color when i tell you to date and expand your options i'm not even talking about skin color because i remember remember i said i'm not even just talking about skin color i said it's about the character of a man any man can show you that he's good or bad it doesn't matter the skin color that he has i'm telling you to expand your options on behavior as well if a man is showing you consistently or a group of men are showing you consistently that their behaviors are bad and that they treat you terribly, then you need to expand your options away from those group of men. It's very, very important that you understand how to recognize when a man is behaving badly, but also when a group of men en masse, whether they are in a Pacific culture, Pacific um, occupation, Pacific country, Pacific wherever, wherever they are, you need to recognize that these group of men are acting badly, treating you badly, and you need to expand your options away. That's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It doesn't matter the skin color of the guy. It is about the behaviors, the character of the man and how he treats you. And when ladies, this is a very simple concept, but it's very difficult for women and men to understand. I've noticed this. It is very, very difficult for women and men to understand and implement this properly. Now, I'm not saying that you need to copy me 100% because I don't think it's even wise to copy someone. You may not 100% get their results. But take the meat of what I'm saying and spit out the bones. You don't have to copy me 100% because you may not even get my results or my outcome, right? I want black women and women in, of color in general, the BAME community, Asian women, whoever. And even with white women as well, of course. Like, in general, women in general. I want our standards to be raised collectively. I want us to get best outcomes in life, right? But you don't necessarily need to copy me 100%, but you do need to take the meat of what I'm saying, apply it to your life and spit out the bones of what you think will not apply to you. Okay, it's very, very important, right? Black women, you should definitely be expanding your options. But it's not just about, you know, expanding your options in terms of dating a different color of man or whatever. It's about the behavior of the man. It's about the behavior, the behavior. If you are seeing consistently like if you're seeing consistent behavior on a certain group of men you need to move away from those men instantly your life may very well depend on it okay so we've got the the next post and there's actually quite a lot of ladies on here who are quite young like in their early 20s i think i want to also post another i want i want to make another post on a, a woman who is perhaps a bit more mature maybe in her late 30s or late 40s just so that you can see that this is happening to women of all ages but yeah um let's get into this reddit post here where it says i'm gagged laugh my ass off 22 i love how they put like the age in the title <laughs> okay so let's read it it says here this is laughable i got on hinge oh hinge has struck again Hinge, the place where unhinged people are dwelling. Everybody is unhinged on Hinge. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is what she says. She said, I got on Hinge and started talking to this dude. Just looking for a genuine connection in whatever regard that is. Just someone to talk to, you know, and he gagged the F out of me. He was like, your profile is kind of basic. I feel like I don't really know what you look like or what your fashion style is. Oh. So I was like, well, I can look the same in my photos, so I can send you some full body pics with different outfits. Why would she do that? Okay, 
And then she said here, and I sent them and he hung up on me. I feel like this is one of the funniest things to ever happen to me. Like, damn, for real. I'm pretty confident in my appearance, but it's like, wow, the streets are brutal. Edit update. He called me this morning to apologize and proceeded to ask me if I'd be open to a polyamorous relationship with him and his lady. Are you effing kidding me? I feel like I'm in the next episode of Punked. First of all, her use of gagged is actually hilarious because gagged is like if you're shocked or surprised, but the way she's used it is funny. Second of all, ladies, did I not tell you that many of you are wasting your own time? And one of the things that women need to understand, you need to stop treating your time like gold dust. This is a whole waste of time. First of all, why would she even send her photos to this guy? And this is what I mean when I say women don't understand how to recognize when a man is being shitty and doing really harmful things to you. This is an example of negging. He was trying to tell her her profile was basic and he didn't really know what she looks like. You can see all her pictures there. How do you not know what she looks like, sir? Um, is Jupiter and Uranus just crashing constantly into your head? What's going on? And she even went and sent full body pictures. That was his aim. His aim was to confuse you and neg you and make you feel bad about yourself and you fell for it so that you would send him more pictures so that he could show him and his lady friend and then they could fantasize over you and then make you feel vulnerable enough that them offering you a polyamorous relationship would make you feel gassed about yourself. That's what it all is. That's what it all is. It's all just psychological mind my, warfare, right? This man is trying to wage a war on your mind and how you see yourself. And it's very, very important as a woman that you clock this early and stop engaging. Any man, listen, listen to me now. Black women, Asian women, white women, whoever you are. Any man that comes and tells you, I don't really know what you look like or your fashion sense. Block. Block. Why would you be wasting your time even answering such a useless and foolish person? So if the person doesn't know what kind of fashion sense you have, what the hell are they doing talking to you then? My friend, goodbye. What nonsense. You see me, I don't tolerate rubbish. Hi God, I'm so allergic to nonsense. If you stop talking crazy or start acting any crazy, you are just blocked. Who has your rubbish time? I, I need women to move brutally. Like when I mean I need you to be no nonsense. This is a whole load of nonsense that this girl just wasted her time. And she was even on the phone with this guy. Women, I feel like women have too much time to waste. And I've said it previously. Women have really lost pride in their time and they've lost ego. Because when you have pride, it gives you dignity and you will not be dealing with rubbish like this. I really, and now she's, she's young, right? So I understand. And the guy is obviously a disgusting nigger, right? He's, he's disgusting. He doesn't have the guts to say that he doesn't want to date monogamously, that he's not actually available, that he's actually in a relationship. He doesn't have the guts. He's trying to neg her into feeling vulnerable enough to accept a polyamorous relationship, which she has not indicated that she's interested in, right? Now, so this guy is trash, first of all, right? But this girl is very young and this doesn't hap just happen to young girls. It happens to older women as well. I need ladies to understand that your time needs to be gold dust. You cannot be wasting your time with this. The moment a guy tries to make you feel bad about how you look, block, um, waka, block the mumu, jaw, what nonsense, block the fool. You see, I am so ruthless when it comes to the standards that I have. And this is why Greg loves me so deeply greg loves me so deeply it's actually sometimes i'm like wow it's a lot this man's love is immense it's one of the reasons why greg said that he loves me so much is just because of how firm i am and how no nonsense i am and remember ladies i've told you when you're dealing with men it's not by shouting that's only going to stress you. And that's another way of men draining your life clock away by making you consistently shout and, and argue with them. It's just all draining your life away and, and causing anxiety. Um, so that's another trap. Do not fall into that trap. If you're in a situation where you're arguing like and shouting at each other like over and over again every, every, every day, you should be breaking up because, man, life is already stressful enough. <laughs> you don't need to go and add that kind of stress to your life, right? Um, but one of the reasons why he said it is because just this, the serious, the way I stand on what I said, that he is forced, that he has no choice but to admire how serious I am when it comes to what I want, right? And that's why Greg spoils me rotten. He does all these things for me. 
Greg spoils me a lot. And listen, Greg's desire is even to spoil me. He, he likes it. He enjoys it. He takes me out, you know, he does things for me, flies me out. He's flying me out again later on this year. And he's already said, listen, he wants to invest money into buying us a house, blah, blah, blah. All of these things, you know, the wedding, everything, the two weddings that he has. All of these, even the wedding, even the traditional wedding, right? He wasn't used to that idea of paying a bride price. He's adjusted to paying a bride price. And he's, in, he's happy to pay the, bride, pay the bride price because of me, because of my standard. And this is, I've indicated, this is what I want. This is what any man that marries me has to do. And you are going to be no different. So it's either you do or you don't. And it, it, either you love me and value me enough to want to do that, or we go our separate ways. And he has seen how serious I am about it. And he just adores this trait. He, he, he actually says, listen, I don't see this much in women, right? Most women will allow you to mess with them if you, if you say enough sweet words or you do enough sweet things. And that is very true. And listen, Greg has actually said a lot of things that I notice are very true about how men think in general. He's actually revealed a lot to me about how other men think. It's very, very interesting. Right. So one of the things I one of the things I really need women to do is like not waste your time and you need to really value yourself, especially if you're a black woman dating online or if you're an Asian woman, whoever. If you're a woman dating online, whether you are 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s or more, you have to value yourself. So now let's move on to see, check some of the comments. OK, because some of these comments are funny. As we can see here in the comments, I was 100% correct with my deduction. And some ladies here are very smart on this comment section. This girl, if she doesn't wise up fast, she's going to be destroyed by men. If she doesn't wise up fast, men will brutalize you and use you like a rag doll. I'm not even joking. Look at what this person says here. She said, you have a good attitude. He was negging you, as I said, because he deep down he hates himself and wants you to hate yourself. And then someone else says it. He says, you are so easily manipulated. I'm afraid for you. For real. This man was easily able to manipulate her into sending photos of herself to him. God. He said, men are going to hurt you if you are this naive. I feel like you need an adult to help you. Genuinely, 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 right? A lot of girls, especially in the early eight years, they make a lot of mistakes. I know when I was 18... I made a mistake with my first relationship and I learned very fast. I never made the mistake again. Listen, even another girl underneath says here, yeah, coming from a naive girl, this is very true. Now I'm a shell of myself for being so stupid and trusting. Wow, girl, you really tried to impress some loser who already thought you were a worthless object into literally solidifying that you were a worthless object for slaving his dumbass whims. Damn. <laughs> that is actually so many levels of deep. That is, that is actually a hundred percent true. He got you to feel like you felt like you didn't like yourself or that you weren't attractive. Right. And this black men do this to black women a lot. They like to, I'm going to mention this. They do this to black women a lot. They like to make them feel like they're undesirable and unattractive. And then black women, they, they believe that black women will then try to impress them by making them feel that they're undesirable. Nobody's trying to impress you. Nobody cares. I need women, black women, white women, Asian women who are to block men like this immediately and stop wasting your goddamn time. What nonsense. Then some, another girl said, girl, he roasted you and then offered you. And then you offered to send him pictures of yourself. Like imagine rewarding a man for bad behavior. And so many women do this instead of to block the guy. And, you know, I really want women to understand when, that when you block a man and when you stop when you have standards and you stop men from mistreating you, you develop a lot of confidence and you become better at, at spotting nonsense. Okay. She said, I feel like it was less of a genuine, I don't know what you look like, and more of him just being rude and saying he thinks your profile is boring, that you have no personality. He sounds like an a-hole. Dating apps suck. I guess I didn't take it like that at the time, but this is definitely what it was. Uh, life goes on. He was definitely negging you. Uh, what's nagging? Insulting someone to lower their self-esteem and then they're easier to manipulate. Listen, I really need this girl to wise up fast. <laughs> God. My women are perishing for lack of knowledge. <laughs> I need women to wise up fast. Oh my God. 
this is so sad and so tragic but um yeah i wanted to read out the comments to you i'll see if i can find one more post and then i'm just gonna give you guys one give you girls you ladies and even if you're a guy on the channel as well because there are men who watch my channel let's pretend that they don't let's not pretend that they don't they do even the ones who say they don't you're stalking we know you're here it is what it is there's no point trying to pretend because nobody everybody knows that you're here okay so i'm gonna give a last few bits of advice to ladies towards the end um so yeah let's see if we can find one more post that we showcase women who are a bit more mature in age ladies ladies here is a post and this time the post is about a mature woman the poster is a mature woman if she's 45 and the guy that she's dealing with is 49. So this is going to be a very interesting one. This is going to be the last post of the video, the last video post. So here we dive into yet again another horror story. Horror dating story on Reddit. Second date. Didn't have sex. <laughs> he lost interest. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you've just joined the video. Or if you're still watching, click that subscribe button and let's get into it. I just had a second date with someone who lives three hours away. So our date consisted me driving to his place and staying two nights. We were making out, which then led to oral. After oral, he wanted to have PIV. S. And I told him I wanted to wait a bit longer than that. I noticed after I put the brakes on PIV S that he was not interested in kiss kissing, touching, cuddling, being affectionate for the rest of the weekend. It felt like friends hanging out as opposed to a date. I asked him about it two days later and he tells me he thinks waiting for S at our age is juvenile and that he felt that pumping the brakes on PIV killed the momentum we had going. I don't plan on continuing to date this man, but I'm feeling down today and can use some support if you have any. Thanks. Ha! Huh. So this is actually very interesting. I have a lot to say about this. Remember, I said it before that women who are dating online for the first time or who are just dating in their 40s and 50s, they are similar they are the similar stage of thinking to me who was 18 when I was dating at 18. They are on the same similar. They haven't developed awareness and understand of how to date online. As a woman, I have said several times that you should not be driving to date any man. You should not be driving hours to meet any guy. And on the second date, you're driving hours to meet a guy. Women are fucking up. Like, why are women... Like, women are... Oh, women... Oh, my God. Women really... We, we, like... Ugh. Women do not understand their worth. Chai! My body is penning me. Women do not understand their worth. Why are you driving to see a guy three hours on only a second date? This is a lot of investment. For a woman, women are pursuing men. I've said this. I've said this on my channel. Did I not say this? And this is what happens. First of all, men should be the ones driving to you, see you. Didn't I say you, didn't I tell you guys, right? At the beginning of my relationship with Greg, right? Greg drove two hours every single date to meet me. And he paid for all of those dates. He drove two hours to me. I did not move a finger i do not move any pim any pim 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 of my body <laughs> why is this woman at 45 years old driving three hours on a second date you don't even know this guy very well and this man and listen i really need women to understand right if a man is inviting you to his house on a second date this is not a man who is seriously trying to date you i have had men on a dating app before They've taken me out on dates. Like when I was younger, they've taken me out on dates. And then for the first date and then the second date, they've said, oh, come to my house. I immediately declined. I said, nope, if we're going to be dating, we are going to court and you are going to take me out on every single day until I decide that either I am ready to go over to your house or I am ready for you to come over to my place, right? You do not take me out on a first date and then decide to invite me to your house on a second date. Any man that is taking you out on a first date and then tries to invite you to his house on a second date believes that it only takes one outing. He's not interested in courting you. He's interested in taking you to his house for the f for a second date and sex. Yes, that is what he's interested in. Remember, I've said it previously, right? 
It doesn't matter if it takes a date, dinner date or coffee. A man's final destination remains the same and that is to get you into the bedroom. I have said this so many times. It doesn't matter if he, if you, if he gives you coffee for a first date, cake, dinner, whatever. This is his final destination in his mind. And the fact that he invited you to the house for a second date means some Easy. men, they will treat you to a date for the first date and then expect you to go into the house for the second date. Absolutely not. And at 45 years old, this woman does not know this. And I'm telling you, so many women in their 40s and 50s are making stinking stupid mistakes. Just because you are older does not mean you have sense. Some people who are younger than you are blessed with far more sense when it comes to dating and i need the ladies in the 40s and 50s don't be making this kind of mistakes you should never be driving to meet any man there's actually a woman who drove all the way to i think mexico to meet a guy on a date or like a long-term relationship and this man on a lived her in the most brutal way and sold her organs like when they actually removed her body when they found her body they couldn't even identify it because she had no face man her face was missing. Like he took everything from her body to sell in the black market. I'm not even joking. The only way her family member were able, was able to identify her was a ring on her, a ring that she had on her body. That was the only way. A family ring. Like that's crazy. Her whole, like her organs were missing. Her face was missing. Listen, and she drove all the way to meet this man. Women should not be driving hours to meet men. Uh, that wo that woman who was unalived horribly by that man well, actually, she actually flew to Peru, not Mexico. Apologies, um, but she was also a mature woman, and I really need ladies to understand that you have to get smarter fast because, like I said previously, there are a lot of men who are walking around and you think they're normal, you think they're mentally healthy, and they're not. They are insane and there's a, a turmoil brewing underneath just ready to come out, right? There are quite a few good guys out there, but there are also a lot of horrific guys out there. And unfortunately, you won't know who is who until you jam the one that harms you. So you have to get smarter as a woman to learn how to avoid being in horrific situations. It breaks my heart when I hear of women getting on lives in such a way. And obviously the person, the man that did that is such an evil, monstrous individual right but i really want women to understand that so many of these people are out there and they're always looking for their next victim so you need to be mindful you need to be careful when it comes to dating no woman should be driving hours to meet a guy that is a bad sign when it comes to dating especially so early on it's very very important right as women that you have confidence and self-worth and self-esteem in yourself so you know the actions to avoid that will put you in perilous situations may that woman rest in peace you know i really hate seeing stories like that and i hope i really don't want to see any more stories like that with women when it comes to dating because that woman was looking for love and she found a horrific death instead okay so let's read some of the comments here somebody said your choices never stop being yours to make it's the driving three hours one way to meet someone that I, at age 45, see as problematic. Yes, yes, yes. And another person underneath said this, I'm 43 and I'm probably single because I don't want to drive too much. No, my darling, you just have some standards for yourself. And then someone underneath says, 21-year-old me would have, but 21-year-old me did a lot of questionable things. Absolutely, right? And then someone said, six hours invested in just seeing a person I quite frankly don't know because she drove three hours one way which means she's driving three hours back so six hours of driving right so this person is right six hours you drove six hours for a second date with him like with a man who didn't care about you enough to take you out on a date he just invited you to his house and he couldn't even be bothered to find his way to your place and meet you in a place where you were familiar with and felt comfortable with. You went to a place where you felt so uncomfortable, you stopped doing what you were doing physically. I need ladies to, to recalibrate. My darlings, please. First of all, this guy sounds like trash. But let's be real. The majority, in fact, all of the men that have been discussed in the video, in this video, are trash. The majority of the men that have been discussed in this video are not good 
material for long-term relationships and have not treated the women in these scenarios well right and someone says same especially for a second date then someone else underneath says doesn't matter what the reason for you refusing s is if you can't respect that reason then the question is does he respect you as a person and remember this comes back to what i said previously if the man doesn't respect you as a person it doesn't matter whether you have s in the second date or three weeks or three months he is not going to want to spend time with you if he doesn't get the S or if he gets the S and then just leaves. I really need women to understand. It's not about the amount of time spent. It's about whether he developed respect for you in that time that you spent together. So if he can't respect you as a person as well, would you try and cross other boundaries in the future as well? And then someone else on me says, I mean, it sounds like he respected it. Nowhere did he say he tried to push the boundary. Yeah, but he didn't respect the fact that she didn't want to be with him. He only sees her as, he only wanted, really, the nitty gritty of it is he wanted S. And that was pretty much it. If she's not providing S, he doesn't want to be around her. Because he could have, they could have just stuck, she could have just stuck around. They could have just talked, laughed about stuff. She didn't have to leave immediately, you know? Um. Anyway, someone else underneath says, yeah, as a, 37 year old woman waiting for s once you've gone as far as oral does not does seem a bit juvenile he has to respect your wishes but he doesn't have to find them mature or in line with his desires oh okay so you can stop s for any reason at any point i really need ladies to understand this if you are not comfortable with something you can stop it a man should not want to have s with you if you are not comfortable okay <laughs> oh my god what the hell is wrong with women? What the hell is wrong with women like this? This last comment is so disturbing. Like, do you, what, she just go through with it just to make you feel better or just to make the guy feel better? What is wrong with women? Oh my God, what is going on? Anyway, um, women, you are 100% able to stop anything that you're not comfortable with. It would be better for you not to enter into a situation that you find uncomfortable with in the first place. But that doesn't mean you should... Go ahead with a situation you aren't comfortable with. If you aren't comfortable with it, please speak up and do not be afraid to. You. But also try and not get yourself into those situations because some of them can end up dangerous. So yeah, um, this this these are horror stories. Reddit dating horror stories. As you can see, ladies are suffering, and it's late women of all ages in the early twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, whatever. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to talk about, especially with black women who date interracially, you really need to try and see black men's behavior for what it is. I have a lot of black men that come on my channel and they get really upset and frustrated. I post it in my community tab, right? Some of the comments are very amusing. Some of them are disturbing, <laughs> like crazy some of them are crazy and unhinged and the crazy and unhinged ones which is the majority of them do get blocked but some of them are very um amusing and i really want black women to understand that unfortunately black men have a severe issue with trying to make you believe that you are undesirable this is a very serious weakness with them they spend a lot of time worrying about who you date. They spend a lot of time trying to make you believe that no one else but them will want you. And they spend a lot of trying to tell you who finds you attractive and who doesn't. First of all, black men have absolutely no control over who black women date. You do not own black women. We do not own you. Right? And for me personally, I've never cared if a black man dates any white woman. I've never cared. It's not of interest to me, right? This has nothing to do with me. I'm just, it's just complete lack of interest, complete zero, <laughs> right? But the reality is a lot of them are very pressed and very upset when black women like me date out in happy relationships interracial relationships, especially when the man is white, he's young, he's financially able and he treats us well, provides for us and spoils me the way Greg spoils me, right? When he spoils us the way Greg spoils me, that gets them very upset because they have become very invested in trying to make you believe that you are undesirable and no one else will like you. And if you go on dating apps with this mindset, you are going to suffer very badly. 
when I was on a dating app, you guys saw in my previous video, there were many men of different colors, black men, white men, Asian men who approached me and sent me messages. I posted this in my previous video. I'm going to link it up here. There were many men of different skin colors. So listen, I really need you to understand that black men do not control who likes you. They do not control which color, skin color of man likes you, no matter how much they scream and cry about it. And black men have a very severe problem they have very low self-esteem because their status as men in society is low. And unfortunately, black men are very lazy when it comes to actually confronting how they feel about this, their low status in society. They would rather take the easy route, which is to compare themselves to black women and to try and diminish black women's image because that's the only thing that they can make them feel better about their low self-esteem and about their low status in society. They don't have the guts to try and do that with any other group because they can't compare themselves to any other group, including men, men and women in other groups. Right. And what I really need to understand is that this reveals a severe weakness in black men, uh, a very severe weakness of character, because only a, a, a cowardly man is there's it's only a man who is cowardly, who has the guts to compete and compare with black, with women, but cannot compete and compare with other groups of men and what I would really hope to see and what I would really like to see is black men not obsessed with black women like me in interracial relationships and trying to harass us and worry about who black women date and trying to convince black women that they can't date interracially right what I would like to see them do is actually compete with other groups of men and become a force to be reckoned with so that they can actually become better options for black women and women of other races. Because I've seen how you treat women of other races and they aren't treated very well. You know, On, on I, I can see, I can see that that's the reality, right? And what they need to do is they need to focus on improving their education, literacy, poverty rates, domestic violence rates, crime, violent crime in the community rates fatherhood rates marriage rates right they have so much work to do black men have so much work to do to improve their image abroad everywhere do you know how many black men i see complaining that they cannot get visas you are literally running to other countries begging for visas and citizenships right this is not good people don't want to hire you abroad when you go, when they hear that you're you're living in Africa, people don't even want to hire a lot of African, um, a lot of African applicants because they don't value them. Because the 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 the, the thing that they hear when they hear that this applicant is African is scammer. I'm telling you, that is the reality. Look, look at Nigerian men; they've completely been painted with the word scammer. Right? Anytime you hear Nigerian man, or you just think scam, and this this happens a lot. Listen, black men have a lot of work to do. They do not need to be worried or obsessed with black women like me in interracial relationships because we are not worried about the collective as a whole. We have moved on. We have moved past this level and we focus on our personal goals, personal lives and personal happiness. We do not mill for any community. Right. We do what is best for us and we choose the best man, regardless of the skin color that provides for us the best, whether he's black, white, Asian, whatever. I really need black men as a whole right to stop trying to make black women and stop trying to tell black women how desirable they are this does not work anymore right and this only shows me how insecure and weak you are a man that is really confident in himself and his ability as a man does not need to compare himself to a woman or try to diminish a woman's image he goes out there and he competes with other men so what we need to do is we need to see you competing with other men so that we can see where you truly stand globally, right? That is the reality. And I need black women to not internalize the hateful and obsessive need to try and control black women that black men exhibit. Do not bring that into your dating experience. I beg of you, you must develop some serious confidence. Listen, I have been blessed with an abundance of self-esteem and confidence that has been put into being by my black mother, my lovely mother, right, who is a very powerful and no-nonsense woman. So allow me to share some of that with you because some of you black women are desperately needing and needing this. Allow me to share it with you.
that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Um, also, lastly, black women should not, you should not still be getting, um, I really don't really want to hear black women falling for men who don't have citizenships and they're lying to you. And then you only find out later. Listen, I will tell you something. I'll tell you something really hilarious. When I was 18, like before I had my, before I met W and I had that awful relationship when I was like 18, my first ever and only really bad relationship. There was this guy that I met right on a dating app. His name, let's call him K. (laughs) <laughs> now I was very young I was very naive you know I was 18 I was a little baby but I already was still had some sense I, I had I didn't have as much ruthless and brutality as I do now right but I still had some level of mm, right some level of pride and mm, as a woman right and this guy I, I was dating him for like a couple of uh, months and this guy comes and tells me right um, a couple of months later, oh, he go, he says, oh, um, I'm not a citizen, by the way, I don't have a red passport. And I didn't realize that he wasn't a citizen, right? There were subtle clues that he wasn't in a good situation. He would sleep on the couch. He would sleep in the couch in his cousin's house. His fridge was like, there was like, oh my God, his fridge, there was like only ketchup packets in there. It was crazy. Um, but there were subtle clues, but I think what he was hoping for was that he was hoping that I would love him. I would fall in love with him and I would tolerate his nonsense and his lies. So he told me, oh, I'm so sorry. I've been lying to you. I'm not a citizen. I don't have a red passport. I was so disgusted. He came and told me, he said, listen, if you want me to stay in the country and you want us to be together, you need to marry me and have a baby. No, he didn't even say marry, sorry. He said, you need to get pregnant for me. If you know the way I lost respect for this man instantly, I was disgusted. I was disgusted. I said, what? Who the hell is getting pregnant for you, nut job? And he said, so you won't get pregnant for me? I said, no. And he said, but if you don't get pregnant for me, I will get deported. I said, sir, I will happily happily get on a train and take you to the airport myself and wave you goodbye and I will even bring a handkerchief and and, and even do tears theatrics for you you see me I will never get pregnant for you in this life any woman if you like go to any woman any other woman but me I will never get pregnant for you in this life. Don't even think about it yet. I even told him, you're a mad person. You're a, you're a useless goat for even suggesting that I would get pregnant for you at 18. When I haven't even gone to university, I don't even have a degree, nothing. I have nothing. You have nothing to offer a woman, nothing to offer a woman. And you dare to ask me to get pregnant for you. You dare. Oh my God, I tore him a new one. It was crazy. I was so brutal towards him. Like, so I told him, listen, go and find any woman that is desperate for a baby, right? If you want, but it's not going to be me. So guess what this guy does? This guy gets with a white girl, gets her pregnant, has a baby and manages to get like a stay in the country. Remember, this was back in 2013. Visa laws in the UK are different now. And (laughs) guess what? He comes back to me. I blocked this guy. Yeah. I blocked him after his disgusting request. I said, I'm done with this idiot. I blocked this guy. And this was when I was 18. So I was already no nonsense. And this guy comes back like one year later with a whole baby. (laughs) And then comes and tells me, oh, I have a baby now. I got somebody pregnant. So now we can be together because I have the citizenship. I was so disgusted. He didn't have a citizenship, but he had like a leave to stay. He had like a a family, he had like a visa thing. I was so disgusted. First of all, he doesn't love the woman that he he's wasted time with and gotten pregnant. So she's just with a guy who's a cheating, lying, useless man. And second of all, what on earth would make him think I'd be interested in getting back with him, a man? I don't date men with kids, first of all. And I certainly wouldn't date a useless man like that. 
Like, listen, the way I said, if I hear from you again, I'm going to screenshot everything and I'm going to find that woman that you got pregnant and I'm going to send it to her. You are in a precarious situation. Better not risk your stay here. I was so brutal. The man didn't try to contact. I was so brutal. I was so disgusted. Oh, God. The thing was, listen, listen, ladies, ladies, I really do not want to see women falling for men who do not have a passport, who are illegal, do not have citizenship. Excuse me. Please do not end up in that situation. I can understand if you're young and you're early 20s or late teens, but please, 30s, 40s and 50s men, women, I should not be seeing that, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Please and thank you. I need, I need black women to avoid other black women who use the Bible to try and, like, shame you for dating interracially or um, to try and tell you why you shouldn't be spoiled and to try and, like... Uh, justify why they're living in poverty. That's fucking disgusting. That's fucking deranged and fucking disgusting. And you are a nut job. I really need black women to avoid other black women like that because I've had a couple of those weirdos come on my channel, black women who have been so brainwashed and so damaged by the black men that they worship because that does happen a lot. And they are now making excuses for the suffering that they are experiencing on a daily basis and using God to justify that. Listen, if they want to suffer and struggle, let them avoid such women, avoid such women, especially if you're trying to expand your options and date whoever treats you the best, regardless of the skin color of the person. Avoid black women like that. They are too far gone. They are too far gone, unfortunately, and it is not your job to save them. Right? It is your job to get the best possible outcome for yourself and your life and to live a happy, blessed and enjoyable life. So what that means is you ignore that, you remove them, you don't engage with them. Okay, Those people, they're suffering on their own. Let them suffer on their own and don't allow them to try and bring their suffering to you or make you feel. Because misery loves company. And women like that, black women like that who have fallen for that, who are suffering, they want to try and get other black women to suffer with them. You will suffer alone. Nobody is going to suffer with you. You will suffer and enjoy that suffering. Leave anybody else out of your suffering. I really want black women to avoid other black women like that who have drunk the Kool-Aid and are suffering as a result of it. Please. Your personal development is very important, okay? So only go for the guy that treats you the best and takes good care of you. So lastly... There are very, there are very good men out there, right? I'm not going to pretend there aren't. Not all men are absolutely horrific, but we don't know who is going to be bad and who's going to be good, which is why we apply common sense when dealing with all of them, because you don't know who's going to be nuts and who's going to be okay, who's going to be decent, right? All you can do as a woman when you're dating online, right, is have the boundaries in place deal breakers standards and be very ruthless with yourself and with whoever you're dealing with when it comes to respect love care and yeah we've seen all the horror stories from all the reddit horror, horror stories that i've shown you women are going women are going through wahala wahala day wahala day <laughs> women are going through wahala seriously so i need us to like move smarter, move faster, move sharper, right? And I really want black women, Asian women, women of all skin colors, white women, whoever, to have better experiences on dating apps as a whole. Because this video is not just about black women, but it's also women in general. When you're on the dating app, I need you to move in a way. I need you to move differently, right? But also, right, I really want you to understand that you deserve to be treated well. You deserve to be you know, courted, taken out on dates, you know, shown love and affection, that kind of thing. And I really want to see better dating and relationship outcomes for black women and women in general. Okay. It's very, very important. You know, I'm always happy when people find love and find a good, um, situation because more happier people in the world makes the world a better place. Right. And I am very lucky and I consider myself very fortunate to be as happy and fulfilled as I am with Greg, you know, um, but I really want to see more of this 
in general, like in relationships. So I feel like all the all the stuff I see online is relationships is so much so miserable. Like literally, it's so miserable. I really want to just see some more happiness, right? So thank you so much for watching, ladies, and any guys that are on the channel because there are guys on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I have really loved the community that I've built on this channel. God bless you all. You are the best. I love the fact that you come on here and you watch the channel. Um, and yeah, it's the road to 1,000 subscribers. So we are doing it. We are doing it. And I have had my first 100k views on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really love having you all here and this amazing community of amazing people that we are building and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care, beloves. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. So lastly, there are very, there are very good men out there, right? I'm not going to pretend there aren't. Not all men are absolutely horrific, but we don't know who is going to be bad and who's going to be good, which is why we apply common sense when dealing with all of them because you don't know who's going to be nuts and who's going to be okay who's going to be decent right all you can do as a woman when you're dating online right is have the boundaries in place deal breakers standards and be very ruthless with yourself and with whoever you're dealing with when it comes to respect love care and yeah, we've seen all the horror stories from all the Reddit horror stories that I've shown you. Women are going, women are going through Wahala, Wahala day, Wahala day. <laughs> women are going through Wahala, seriously. So I need us to like move smarter, move faster, move sharper, right? And I really want black women, Asian women, women of all skin colors, white women, whoever to have better experiences on dating apps as a whole because this video is not just about black women but it's also women in general when you're on the dating app i need you to move in a way i need you to move differently right but also right i really want you to understand that you deserve to be treated well you deserve to be you know courted taken out on dates you know shown love and affection that kind of thing and I really want to see better dating and relationship outcomes for black women and women in general. OK, it's very, very important. You know, I'm always happy when people find love and find a good um, situation because more happier people in the world makes the world a better place. Right. And I am very lucky and I consider myself very fortunate to be as happy and fulfilled as I am with Greg, you know, um, but I really want to see more of this in general, like in relationships. So I feel like all the all the stuff I see online is relationships is so much so miserable. Like literally, it's so miserable. I really want to just see some more happiness, right? So thank you so much for watching, ladies, and any guys that are on the channel because there are guys on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I have really loved the community that I've built on this channel. God bless you all. You are the best. I love the fact that you come on here and you watch the channel. Um, and yeah, it's the road to 1,000 subscribers. So we are doing it. We are doing it. And I've had my first 100K views on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really love having you all here and this amazing community of amazing people that we are building and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care, beloves. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video.